What up, what up, what up? What's good, what's good, what's good? It's your girl, V. Henny. Welcome to the Odyssey, where we talk shit about music, entertainment, and the everyday life. Yo, what's good? How we doing? How we doing? Um, First and foremost, I definitely want to just say shout out to everybody who's been liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing. You guys are awesome. Continue to show that support. I, I'm definitely seeing the support. It, it's super, it's overwhelming, you know, um, when you see that. It's, you know, like, when you see, like, visual and then just having that feeling is two totally di- different things. Like, I know I have support, but when you actually see it, it's like it's it, it can be very overwhelming. So I I appreciate you guys very much for it. You know, uh, today will be a dope episode. We have Crystal Thoughts. She's gonna be coming in with us, speaking with us, performing as well. I'm looking forward to having that part of the segment. You already know how that goes. Um, and I also want to say, um, a tragic thing happened like about maybe two weeks ago or so. I didn't get to speak on it. Um, I want to speak um, very briefly on um, Chadwick Bosman. Um, rest in peace. It hit many people. Like, it just, you know, in a way where it was, you know, it was unexpectedly, you know, like, people were just in shock about it. No one knew he was sick. If anything, he was bullied online for his weight loss. And, and it's like... You know, like, you don't realize what a person is going through. I always say that because I'm not one, I'm not one to share what's going on with my personal, um, opposed to, like, what's you, what you see on, on, you know, online, on social media. Like, so I get the reason why he never shared it. And he did amazing things, you know. Um, long live the king. It's, it's sad that. I think what's the sad part is just the fact that he was bullied for his weight loss. You know, like, am I surprised by it? Absolutely not. But it's just fucked up. You know, it's fucked up because it's just, it comes with the territory. I always tell people this, like, this comes with the ter- territory. When I say this comes with the territory, I mean, this is what you are to expect with, once you make it to a certain plat- um, platform, you know? You're going, you're going to get all these cancel cultures, all these negative feedbacks, all these negative comments and people trying to bully you and X, Y, and Z. And he, he, what I, I, what I appreciate about him is the fact that he had a positive mindset. You know, he did not allow internet nor his illness to overcome him, you know? In a sense, like it, 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 he continued to live his life to his fullest. And I always tell people, bro, like I always tell people, like if I die tomorrow, don't cry at my funeral. I was like, I just want people to share dope stories because I got to live my life. You understand? Like I got to live my life. I, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna allow whatever negative outcomes to affect me, you know? Because we, ha- I have a purpose, and I guess I'm not. I'm not sure. Maybe that's what he was thinking, but he was living out his purpose. So you know, um, long live the king. Honestly, long live the king. He died at the age of 42, um, stage four colon cancer. So you know, I just I definitely that was you know that was a shocker for many people, and I know a lot of people were you know they showed their respect online, everything you know. So. Yeah, I wanted to say that. Take a moment of silence for that. So, um, I, I want to give a shout out to Tyler Perry. I'm not a big Tyler Perry fan like that, but he was reportedly um, worth one billion dollars, yo. One billion dollars. You know, I can't. I like. I'm not a fan of his movies and shit like that. But I respect him because of the fact that how he overcame being homeless to where he's at now. To be reported worth, like, to be worth $1 billion, yo, that shows me if he can do it, I can do it. You understand? That's always been that mo- that that mentality, you know? Like, 
Like, that's inspiring, bro. Like, I, I definitely, I, I wanted to shout that out because I was just like, yo, like, congratulations to him. He, he is well-deserved. Is definitely well-deserved. Um, I want to speak briefly on the, the Art of Music um, concert series. Um, we had our first one in Brooklyn. <laughs> it was, um, it felt, it felt, yo, it felt good to see the artists perform, uh, you know, live. Right there in the flesh. Such a difference between the whole online experience and, like, just, like, the whole physical aspect of it. I mean, we had a little bit of minor setbacks at the beginning. But um, overall, it was a, you know, it was a good success, a successful show. Everybody network, everybody builds. Those nutcrackers was hitting like, mad people was, like, feeling nice. Um, I did interviews with the artists. Um, shout out to Dime Smith. I saw her. She was in the building. Scott did his thing. Um, so, you know, um, it was definitely it was definitely a good show. I, I, I know the next one is October 3rd. So if you're an artist and you're looking to perform, contact us, um, you know. Um, you can find all my information below. Email, um, IG, DM, everything. Um, and we're looking to, like, what I'm planning on doing is, like, you know, I know the realization, everything that I want to do as far as, like, take this to a bigger um, standpoint, it's going to happen. It's slowly happening. Like, I already, like, with the interviews, but there's something else that I'm going to offer for artists now to generate some sort of income, you know, because I know that's what they want. And um, I, I'm, my goal is to help others as well. It's not only myself. It's to help others, you know, because, um, again, how this is why I don't – this is why I'm going to keep it above why I cannot hate on others because I feel like there's so much money out there. Why hate on you? When I can just chase the bag, you understand? Like there, and help people chase that bag too. There's no need for like that hate. I can't that jealousy. Like I'm like I never. I don't. I can't have that, bro. Like I, I, I will always try my hardest to put people in a place where they are comfortable or in a place of growth. You know, um. That's that's not in my character to have like that evil eye, that green eye, you know. Like, um, it's it's I I don't I, I don't get it, but you know, I guess to each his own in a sense. Um, I also put on a fucking post right on um, Facebook. <laughs> Talk about nostalgic, right? I put on a post on Facebook talking about um, you ever done, you ever played um talking about sports. Playing, like, who here used to play spork fight during lunchtime? Did you do that, like, Jay? Like, that, was that you? I definitely did, honestly. Did you? Yeah, I did. What about pencil fight? See, nah, that's different. Te yo, I will bust your ass in <laughs> both of them. Like, yo, I would bust, I'm, yo, I was talking mad shit on Facebook. Like, I was... <laughs> you I should see like, the comments. Yo, the comments, I was just like, I was telling everybody, like, yo, I will bust your ass. Mad people was like, yo, you don't want to get low. Like, you don't want to lose, sis. And I'm like, bro, I used to, like, literally, with the, with the sporks, like, I was literally, like, focused on my pointer, making sure, like, uh, like when I flex it and, it and it touched the other spork, it's damaged. I used to practice. Bah, I used to practice. Yeah, I was one of those. I used to practice because I, I want to whoop ass. I want to whoop ass. In the spirit of back to school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, exactly. In the spirit. That, that's what made me thought about it because I'm seeing all these kids, you know, everybody going back to school. And I was like, yo, remember playing um, sport fight? Pencil fight? Bah. Like, it, it's crazy because pencil fight, I, I, I had to make sure I didn't have the, like, the, rubber, pe the rubber pencil. You know what I'm talking about, right? The one that when you go like that, it's like, blue, blue, blue. Like, that shit confused me. I made sure I had the wooden pencil, because that way, when I'm going to break your shit, when I'm breaking your shit, I'm like, pow, over, se cago. 
No mas. <laughs> <laughs> yo oh gosh shout out to all you parents you're preparing for this whole situation with the with the online school it's crazy because i have so many different parents um they have so many different comments in reference to um going you know their kids going back to school it's a little weird because i'm like do you want your kids to go back to school or do you want your kids to be home online like it's weird how many pe how many parents have different things to say about this i mean i'm not a parent so i can't really say much um i'm just i'm gonna just keep it like that because i'm not trying to get jumped by other parents I'll spork you. <laughs> I'll break your kneecap with a pencil. <laughs> Don't play with me. Nah, let me stop. Let me stop. But um, <laughs> um, another thing I want to talk about, yo, I was mentioning to you. Oh, Joyner Lucas and Ashanti. Yo, what's that about? Yo, I mean, the whole rumor is like, are they dating? That's the whole question. Are they dating? Because Ashanti was sucking tongue. I was like, she was sucking tongue. I was, and they were just, I don't, I, I was just like, <gasps> she looks good by, for her age, by the way. 49, is it? Mm. No, 39, right? Yeah, 39, 39. 39. I added 10 years. Yeah, I was like, damn. <laughs> Sorry. 39. 39. Joyner, you're the, you're the man. Wow. <laughs> what you mean, why? Jo <laughs> you know how many people had crushes on, had like, you know how many guys had a crush on Ashanti? No, I know. So, She's gorgeous. Yo, that's what I'm saying. Joyner, he, that was too good of act, yo. Like, I don't know, like, I know act, like, I know they both like to act and shit, but I'm like, that was a little too real. What are your thoughts, like? I mean, like you said, um, that whole sucking of tongue, I think that crosses the boundary just a little bit of acting. Like, I feel like, you know, maybe they've done that before. You know, it seemed like they've done all that it's, before. It looks to me like he spit in her mouth a few times. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a buck. It looks to me like the whole, I mean, it was a good video, good song. Thank you, fucking Joyner Luc Lucas, for having a fucking good song again. Because I'm such a fan of him, and the last few fucking songs and everything is like so poppy. And I don't, I, I understand that he wants to go mainstream. I get it. So I'm not, you know, I am knocking him. Let me shut up, like, because I'm like, I was so pissed over his um his his EP, but um EP or album, whatever. I'm just like, um, but with his last project, I'm so. I was so pissed off with his last project because I know the body of work he can produce. And the fact that I know also that he is trying to break mainstream, which he is, he's, he's there, you know, he's really in the cusp of it. Um, I know how talented he is. So listening to this song, I was like, yes. Yes, Joyner. Yes. And at that, you got bitches sucking on your tongue. That's what I'm motherfucking talking about. You understand? Like, um, so I, I, I was like, I was just super happy with the song in itself. The video was a fucking plus. So I'm, I'm happy, my, my guy. I'm happy for you. I'm proud of the fact that you, you dropped this because I was in shock. I think the world is just like, now the question is again, are you guys dating? If so, more power to you, bruh. More power to you. I am so fucking happy for you. You understand? Uh, another person that I am happy for, um, he's shown his maturity. He's making it a note that he's conscious now. Is motherfucking Big Sean. That album is a vibe. I, I'm going to keep it a buck. It's a vibe. It was something I had to get used to with Big Sean. You understand? Like, Big Sean, we're already so used to Big Sean being such a hyper, you know, um, active person. But what is it? Janae, uh, what's it? Janae. Janae um, Aiko. Aiko. I always fuck up her name. Janae Aiko mm -hmm. is letting the world know 
that she's tuning this motherfucker in. Nah, definitely. To the universe. <laughs> He's starting to become our people <laughs> i mean i feel like it was expected though because if you go on instagram and you see them together they're always like in the middle of a desert like looking like they just had a meditation like session like they're always you know and janae is extremely spiritual herself so yeah yeah you was mentioning that she um like for her music she uses mm -hmm. like what yeah so for her music she makes sure that she uses like healing frequencies she makes sure that she has singing bowls and stuff like that like she's always said that if she's gonna make music it's gonna be more than just to enjoy she wants to also like heal and whatever through her music yeah, yeah so yeah. it's not surprising <laughs> to me that big sean is now talking about he's zenning out on the couch yeah 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 <laughs> wolves that's that was a dope track um I just I feel like overall the the album in itself um, Detroit Two, good project. Uh, I I'm I'm gonna keep it a buck like his his opening like his first few songs was very strong for me, which is smart because he he grabbed he grabbed me into like listening to his old whole album, and it, and it, it went from being strong to showing me how he was zone like he was vibing out you know like it was real like you mentioned it was vibey you know yeah, like, it was real vibey i um, love it yeah so i was just like all right cool um it reminded me a little bit i'm not saying he sounds like him and y'all may attack me for this but it reminded me of um kanye a little bit and there it is. I know. <laughs> there it goes, right? Everybody's like, yo, leave the, like, they're like, no, he doesn't. <laughs> but no, no, check it out. Because the reason why I say it reminded me of a Kanye, a Kanye a little bit is because I'm not saying he sounds like him. What I'm saying is the reason why it reminded me of Kanye is because if you look at their projects, Kanye, you look at Big Sean's project, it's basically almost similar. The only difference is that Big Sean, for me, is rapping and he's more in tune sp with spirituality. Where, where Kanye West is more religion. You understand? Yeah. So, like, from even to, like, the skits and everything, like, I heard a little bit of the similarities where I was just like, both of them, you know, they're both conscious on their own levels. I don't care what anybody can say, like, oh, fuck Kanye, and blah, blah, he's not, he's done. What a, Kanye's super conscious, if you believe it or not. Like, they, this man knows a lot. You understand? And I know Big Sean is super conscious as well, especially that he's surrounding himself around those who understand spirituality. You know, like, we already know, man. It was already... So there's already facts on it, bruv. You're not going towards that spiritual route. No. <laughs> I mean, they say that, you know, we are spiritual beings living and having a, a human experience. It's a known fact. You understand? Like, and spirituality is the route. There's so many things that can be done when you're in a spiritual aspect. I saw somebody knocking a, a, an artist because he was like, I guess he was meditating. He, st he stated that he can move waves and the wind and X, like, the, you know, the weather. And homeboy was doubting. It. And I'm like, you got to understand that when you take that route of spirituality, you don't understand how much you're opening up your mind. Mm. And the mind is such a powerful thing. And with, with meditation, spirituality... So many things can be done. Yo, let's talk. We could talk about Yo, this all day. we could definitely. Day. And this is what this is what people don't understand because they like, oh, I, you know, I had this conversation with a few people and they agreed. I'm like, yo, you have so many fake woke people. Yeah. You have so many fake um spiritual woke spirituality people where they they they're stating they're they're practicing this and that and then they're still limiting. See, here's what my can thing. be done. And I'm like, wait, what? How are you spiritual and you don't understand it? That can be done. I've seen it with my own eyes. Like, I've seen, I've seen crazy shit. But go ahead. No, my thing is like, okay. For a spiritual, quote unquote, person okay. to repost somebody stating their spiritual experience okay. and claiming 
that it's not accurate or claiming that, oh, he can't really do this, that, or the third. And my thing is, like, if you're really spiritual, you wouldn't go out your way to knock the next person in their own journey. You know what I mean? Like, us spiritual people just want to love and heal the next person. We're not about, because we understand karma. We understand what our energy does. And if you're reposting things for negativity, you're not spiritual. Like, point blank, period. It's a difference if you reposted it to educate the person. Like, hey, this is what you truly mean because you don't sound so educated on the topic. That's different. Constructive criticism is different. Mm, bars. That's all I have to bars. say. Bars. <laughs> Bars. Where's the singing bars? Like, I'm like, ding, ding. <laughs> <It's upstairs. laughs> nah, man. I mean, I, I. But I understand that. I am understanding the world we live in. Where again, everybody has an opinion. But yet they don't want to listen to other people's opinion. You understand? Where, everybody's correct. And they're not open to listen. They're not open to not everyone. But I, when I'm saying this, because I, I, what I'm, but you understand like the sarcasms I'm saying because mm-hmm. I'm like, I have to unfortunately say that. <laughs> but it's like we live in a world where people, you know, they so many people are informative yet they they they, they they're so misinformed. Yeah, you know. I, I'm, I, I tell people straight up, when I don't know about a topic, I don't like talking about it. Because I don't want to sound misinformed. I don't want to sound, you know, I, I build up a low self-esteem. Not a, I get insecure with um, when I'm, I speak about something I'm not sure about. Mm-hmm. I'm still learning with, with, with um, spirituality. That's a given. But I've been around it for so many years. And I've been around so many people. I'm still around so many people who are at a higher frequency who do shit that is so unexplained. And who am I to be like, oh, that can't be done? How can I say me, be like, oh, I'm spiritual, but then I question other people's ability. When I've seen things done that was so unexplained that I'm just like, uh, but I feel like that's the difference. I don't even know difference. how to fucking say it. Like, I don't even know how to explain that. Like, <laughs> I even had my father, who was a non-believer. I mean, he believes in it, but he just doesn't want to pay attention to it. And he saw, I'm not going to say the person, but he saw them levitate. And he's like, I, I don't even know what I saw. And I was just like, <laughs> he's like, nah, I don't, I don't even want to talk about it. Like, I don't know what I saw. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, that's crazy. You understand? Don't doubt spirituality. Don't doubt, you know, it's not black magic. It's not worship, worshiping the devil. Stop it. You know, that's another thing when it comes to, like, religion and spirituality. You understand? I feel like, but it comes with the, it comes with the fact of the fear of the unknown. You fear what you don't know. So what happens with, with that is that you start making up stories or you start making up, you know, like, because at the end of the day, fear implements or installs like people like the brainwash to it, you know, like you you're gonna brainwash people into believing that, into inserting that fear, you know. Yeah. But you know, I'm not again. I'm not knocking. I don't knock people's religion, or I don't knock and people's. You shouldn't. And uh, I feel like. No, I really don't like. That's to, the point. It is the point. I get that. I just I don't you know. I just tell people like, and and I've always said it. I've said it in my shows uh, many times. Like I don't, I don't knock what you believe, you know. I believe in God. I believe in a higher being. You know, I really do. So, but going back to Big Sean, that's why I was comparing, like, him with Kanye because, again, Big Sean was showing me more of a spirituality aspect opposed to Kanye. And I still fucking love Kanye. The, the, you know, like, that's his... He believes he's Christian. What and, but, and, I, and I still think that album, that gospel album, was super dope. You understand? Like... But I was just saying, like, the reason why I was, I was like, I was like, oh, shit, I can see the similarities of it is because they're both showing the world how conscious they are. 
just one is spirituality and the other one is religion. That's how I, I don't know if I'm wrong. I don't know. You know, like, you guys can leave a comment, be like, yo, bitch, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. It is what it is. I really don't take shit like that personal. So, not anymore. Catch me two years ago. <laughs> I would have been heartbroken. <laughs> now, I'm like, whatever. Like, I, I, that's what I felt, you know. Dope album. Such a vibe. He had, the production was super, I, super cool. Like, it was super dope. Um... Big Sean, welcome back. I'm about motherfucking time. I know he is, it's not that he left, but we've been waiting for this project. You understand? Like, and he still got it. He still got it. Like, he was going in, you understand? And to go in in a positive aspect, I loved it. Loved it. I, I salute you. Continue growing, my guy. Like, it's super dope. Super dope. Um, with that being said... We're going to take a music break. You already know the vibes, man. Crystal thought she's about to rock out with us. We're going to play some music videos again. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe, guys. It's free. The support, I, I appreciate you all. And um, actually, just letting you guys know, um, after that, we're going to take a little bit of a break for like a week. But I actually have some major announcements during that break, there's a reason why I'm taking a break. There's new stuff I'm going to start implementing with the show. And uh, I'm so looking forward to this. So y'all already know the vibes, man. Yeah, um, we'll be back. Peace. Look, puppy. Hi. Watch one. Watch one. All right, cut, son. 25 years ago I was born. Brooklyn Hospital, man, it was on. You went in the labor. Pops is on his way to the hospital in the days as he was driving in the fog. You had me in your arms, then passed me to your mother. She passed me to her husband. He passed me to your brother. He passed me to your mother's mother. They y'all want to see the boy you wish you birthed, the little angel did agree. Because apparently I saved some lives before I even came. Because Papa's in the streets since he had a rep to maintain. And Dio was a fee for drugs and Chino passed away. And Padrino also had his first baby on the way. So who would I look up to if we all lived under one roof? Who knew those be the times I be the happiest from one, two, five. I stood inside the house and waited for you. And days turned into nice, but still up, I was staying for you. Asking when is mommy coming home? I know I wasn't all alone, but I wanted to see you bad. I didn't see you till the morning sleeping. Get up, mommy, let's play. And so we did. So you had to go back to work and you had to leave me here. Sometimes you come home crying and I wonder for what reason. But knowing what I know now, I understand every meaning. That took advantage of you. You had a troubled past. You struggled with your self esteem and felt like you were trapped. The only love you felt you had was family and your son had to work to support me or we'd never leave the slums you just wanted a better life to do what's best for me i love you ma i just want you to see i know now now, now why you did the things you did i won't hold it all against you because you did the best you can and i know now i know now i know why you were never there but just because you weren't with me down and I was fine. Pick me up and held me in your arms. You knew your life was different now. You had to change your thoughts. You saw me on the weekends. You taught me every sport. But I never really saw you much. Sometimes the weeks were long. Then that familiar feeling came and something being wrong. Like it's my fault you weren't there.
here, so I just play with my toys. Thinking like I wanna see my daddy. Where is he? Grandma used to tell me, you see daddy, he's just busy. Once I finally did, I got the sense that you were different. You always look so mad, I was scared of you in an instant. Your temper was short, so was your fuse, and you had a little patience. Made me cry a couple times away, you scream in my face. Always wonder why you were so aggressive and so defensive. Till I grew up and I learned about your past, what was indented in your brain. You grew up in the east and in the streets. Your parents never spoke your language, they never would see. A game you had in school, cause they never understood it. Felt like you were a loner, that's the best way you would put it. Start chilling with the wrong crowd and getting into trouble. Until you met my mother and uttered the words, I love you. But jealousy was a big part of your makeup. And respect was the model you followed, so how would you swallow the bitter? taste of a breakup resulting in violence to make a point that you're not one to be fucked with get the love or draw you right back hard as a rock with them but knew you had a softer side but being soft to show your weakness so that you would try to hide but once i came in the picture you stood beside me could have left me with mommy to disregard or deny me for real i love you pop and i thank you for staying with me after all the fights we had man please forgive me Just cause you weren't with me Didn't mean you didn't care And I know now I am my mother's child My pops no rolling stone And I still want to make you proud I know now Hand me when you were young You worked to pay the bills for us Now look what I've become And I know now there's no reason to hang it. Your boredom made some noise, and it was you who kept me poised. See the law work in mysterious ways. And what it seemed to be is you don't lost your dreams. But I was set for them to live through me. One high school diploma and two college degrees. Clean record of car, hard and good looks in my jeans. With the work ethic of a boss. I'm a fucking machine. I made mistakes, but I ain't never sold the rock and smoke weed. Raising the east when it was all around me. Down the block and on the corner. Around the block, there was some shots. He took me out and made me smaller. Thank God to my grandparents that took me in and raised me right. Show me what it was to love and what the future may be like i suffer from the same issues you have it's in my dna i resent that you fall but now i know we'll be okay nothing comes easy and i'm sure there is a better way but whatever is worth it takes time so let's go through the pain wipe your eyes mama i'm here there ain't no need to be scared i'm never leaving your side i hate seeing you cry the worst of the shit is over it's side to side out of mind and me and pop's doing well like never better for real whatever happens the past and now we patching it still hoping to last so we don't clash the way we have and i'm glad that i call them dad boys like me wish they had a set of parents like mine that's once in a lifetime i know i know i know about me, you ain't talking about shit. 31 flavors, never know what you could get. I got thick ones, slim ones, tall ones. Red hair, brown hair, blonde hair, all fun. Now, how many licks does it take to get a stick? Let me play with it, wanna see how big it get. Now, you can speed it up or slow it down, just don't clean it up. When you eat it up, cause I like spit. I eat it up, eat it up. Come and get this cream from my ice cream truck. Now, eat it up, eat it up. Come and get this cream from my ice cream truck. Now, eat it up, eat it up. Come and get this cream from my ice cream truck now Eat it up, eat it up Come and get this cream from my ice cream truck now 31 flavors, how you want it, you can get it Stay getting cream like the ice cream truck 31 flavors, how you want it, you can get it Stay getting cream like the ice cream truck 31 flavors, how you want it, you can get it Stay getting cream like the ice cream truck 31 flavors, how you want it, you can get it Stay getting cream like the ice cream truck I got every flavor that you can imagine Got a white nigga that just flew in from the ass Got a rich nigga, slow down, he a freak though Like to get his ass in, you gotta have a deep throw Got a couple chocolate niggas from the Congo With some big dick talking bigger than the Mongo And they finer than a ticket, hotter than a biscuit But only wet pussy make a melt in the bed I, yeah. Eat it up, eat it up Come and get this cream from my ice cream truck now Eat it up, eat it up Come and get this cream from my ice cream truck now Eat it up, eat it up 
Come and get this cream from my ice cream truck. Now eat it up, eat it up. Come and get this cream from my ice cream truck. Now 31 flavors, how you want it, you can get it. Stay getting cream like the ice cream truck. 31 flavors, how you want it, you can get it. Stay getting cream like the ice cream truck. 31 flavors, how you want it, you can get it. Stay getting cream like the ice cream truck. 31 flavors, how you want it, you can get it. Stay getting cream like the ice cream truck. Now me, they call me Big Mama, the boss of this, like Mr. Obama. I'm the creamiest, nastiest, freakiest, but in the streets I'm the classiest. Got a woman named me, I'm a hustler. Got 31 flavors, yeah, I got custom. But little niggas sit down, we on a lunch day. And I'ma throw this ass back till you suffocate now. Eat it up, eat it up. Come and get this cream from my ice cream truck now. Eat it up, eat it up. Come and get this cream from my ice cream truck now. Eat it up, eat it up. Come and get this cream from my ice cream truck now. Eat it up, eat it up. Come and get this cream from my ice cream truck now. 31 flavors, how you want it, you can get it. Stay getting cream like the ice cream truck. 31 flavors, how you want it, you can get it. Stay getting cream like the ice cream truck. 31 flavors, how you want it, you can get it. Stay getting cream like the ice cream truck. 31 flavors, how you want it, you can get it. Stay getting cream like the ice cream truck. I need every female around the world to grab your bestie, your cousin, your sister, your mother, your aunt, even your grandmother. Pull your phones out, let's get on TikTok and work. Shorty in TikTok shape, do it for the TikTok shape. You ain't gotta feel no way, do it for the TikTok TikTok. Booty looking real firm, do it for the TikTok shape. You ain't gotta wait your turn, do it for the TikTok TikTok. Do it for the tick tock, 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 do it for the so girl, let me put it in your life uh, Hit my credit card and go swipe I Swear to God, you can have whatever you like Say, ah. But on another note well, Here's a bottle with a Henny going ride the boat uh, Loosen up a little bit and let it die in throat Finna have a good time, tell your nigga adios And your homegirl like bestie, let's go Let's go. Finna go talking for a real go Always touch down, let the last play don't work Guarantee I'ma hit the field goal yes, sir. Shorty in tip-top shape Do it for the tick-tock, ayy You ain't gotta feel no way Do it for the tick-tock, tick-tock Firm, do it for the tick tock, ayy. You ain't gotta wait your turn. Do it for the tick tock, tick tock. Do it for the tick tock, ayy. Do it for the tick tock, ayy. Do it for the tick tock, tick tock. Do it for the tick tock, tick tock. Do it for the tick tock, ayy. Do it for the tick tock, ayy. Post it on your IG page, but do it for the tick tock, tick tock. Shiny floss. Yeah. 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 We good outside. We good outside. We good outside. We good outside. Even during quarantine, you know we good outside. Screaming BLM, so you know we still outside. Uh -huh. We good outside. We good outside. We good outside. We good outside, even during quarantine, you know we good outside Streaming BLM, so you know we still outside uh, We still outside, and I'm turning up I'm always in a different bag and I ain't letting up Yeah, this flow is nuts, and simply can't be touched But ain't no telling when I feel like I'ma crank it up So get about your feelings, man, my team always winning Why you always think I'm grinning, and these waves always spinning And I'm always gonna be spending, cause my account ain't never pending But I really don't be lending, ain't scared to change, so I'm blending, huh? You see my fit? Yeah, you know it's me You see the shoes? Yeah, I keep them clean Eating good and everything else in between So when I say I'm outside, that's just what I mean We good outside, we good outside 
We good outside. We good outside, even during quarantine, you know we good outside. Screaming BLM, so you know we still outside, huh? We good outside. We good outside. We good outside. We good outside, even during quarantine, you know we good outside. Screaming BLM, so you know we still outside, huh? I talk the talk, and I walk the walk. Teaching all you rappers, but I don't need the job. Feeling strong like Popeye when he eat his spinach. You see the T on me? Yeah, that's Brooklyn okay. Vintage. All about black business, cause I like to see black winners. Bad chick with me while we at dinner, but I didn't meet her on Tinder. Met her through a friend named Linda. She a real one, no pretender. And she thick, but still slimmer. Hell of a night, she gon' remember, huh? The go-to guy. Yeah, I get it done. I'm with all the smoke. Brooklyn never You're run, no. Eating good and everything else in between. So when I say I'm outside, that's just what I mean. We good outside. We good outside. We good outside. We good outside. Even during quarantine, you know we good outside. Screaming BLM, so you know we still outside, huh? We good outside. We good outside. We good outside. We good outside, even during quarantine, you know we good outside. Streaming BLM, so you know we still outside. What up, what up, what up? We're back in the building. Is your girl V Henny? And we got Crystal Thoughts in the building with me. How you feeling? Chilling, feeling good. Feeling good? I'm good, yeah. <laughs> yo, she just, good. yo, we were just talking about <laughs> like the, tr- the amount of time it took her to get to me. Dedication, you know, passion. I was hyped. 
you know, for those that don't know, if you can briefly explain just who you are and what exactly you do, you know. What's going on, everybody? Uh, my name is Crystal Thoughts. I'm originally from the Bronx. But right now, I live in Waterbury, Connecticut. Songwriter, record producer. She That's what I got going she's on right now. Creative, yeah. like a creative overall, as I was mentioning earlier. Like, yeah. Um, because you're an, uh, you're a producer and an artist, you have the ear now. So that's an advantage to have. Yeah. You know, like, I feel like a lot of artists, you know, like, those that are not aware of what production is, you have to have that ear. And and it helps you with your sound. I feel like it. I mean, am I wrong? I, uh, you as a producer, am I wrong with yeah, that? Like, Yeah, you're definitely right about that. And then it depends on how you're producing and what you're using. Mm. Now, the most important part to it, I realize, that goes to it, is like the mixing and mastering. Uh-huh. And that's the part, like, you're either good or you're going to have to pay somebody to do that. So I actually have an engineer who does that part for me because, okay. you know, I'm still learning with the mixing and mastering. Yeah. But that part to it is very important, Yeah. having an engineer who can mix and master to really get your song or beat sounding top quality. No, you definitely do. You definitely do. Like I was checking Very you out, important. right? So you have a series of Yo, I was like, <laughs> wait, she has a series Precious. of fashion throughout the seasons. Yeah, let me tell I'll tell you how that happened. So basically, summer 2018, I'll just lock the load inside the house. After work, I just go home. Uh-huh. I'm making my beats, making songs, whatever. And I had it was only supposed to be confession of summer. Okay. That was it. So June, I'm recording songs and all that. So July comes, I'm like, I'm really not ready because I got songs that all the songs don't sound like a summertime vibe. So I had some that felt like a wintertime vibe, a spring vibe. It was just, I had a whole catalog catalog of songs. Okay. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just start from the beginning. Let's just start with winter. So I had to pick some songs, do that do some spring songs because I really my favorite album was The Confessions of Summer like that okay. was cause that's the first one I started with mm. but 2018 it wasn't ready you gotcha. know songs wasn't ready that so. was dope I was just like you're the second artist to tell me they did a, a series based on like seasons you know um, but I think yeah. it's such a dope concept because yo if you really look, come to look at it like when you have your you have certain songs that do feel right at a certain time frame exactly and at that time i was doing a lot of songs that was upbeat and all that it, mm-hmm. it felt like the summer but then i had some songs that was a little too deep and too personal I'm like eh, i don't want to hear that in the summertime okay. so i had to move and shift songs around and everything so like that so your first one was confession of winter that's the first one. The, the first one so, I did was Confessions of Summer, but I had to start yeah, in the, but the order. Start, the, the, the order and do that you started was Confessions of winter. winter. Yeah, I had to start in order. Yeah. So you went from winter, then you did, then spring, I did spring, and now summer. So I'm, I'm assuming we're doing. We're getting autumn. Woo! I can't wait. It's already <laughs> ready. So for fall, <laughs> it's gonna be Confessions of Fall Four. Okay. So that's the fourth album. It's only four songs. Those been done like two years ago, but these I got mixed and matched. So they okay. sound good, but those songs just feel like me. Like mm. it feel, them, these songs feel good. I can't wait to October. I'm dropping in October. For each se- um, season that you did the confessions to, mm-hmm. um, how long did it take you to actually, you know, the process overall to write and just even like once. Once you got like these instrumentals, like to just execute the whole oh, song gosh. in itself, it was a process. Cause see, it all it all started honestly May two thousand eighteen. So let's say I already had some beats and everything. Mm-hmm. Cause I use Logic, so I had some beats. So going through beats, writing songs. So two thousand eighteen, all right. It's like all right, I'm not ready. So I want to be ready for two thousand nineteen. Two thousand nineteen came. I think I dropped the winter album, but then the spring album was already. Cause I still mm-hmm. had to. Tw- tweak some beats and some songs around. So then this year I just dropped the, the, the confessions summer. to spring and, and summer. summer. Yeah. yeah. So to the 18, 19, 20, wow. like two, two years to do all that because you want some songs to feel like that, that season, you mm-hmm. know, and if it don't, it's just like, uh, wow. So like, did you produce everything? Yeah. Really? I mean, all the beats. I made all the beats. I recorded myself right in my house. Use my mic. This next, this next, all right. Mm, the next one, the four, 
that one, I got all those mixed and matched. I sent those to my engineer. Okay. And then also, be honest, like this stuff costs money. It I, also I, costs <laughs> money to get it mixed and matched. So, summer, all the other three, it was hard to have the money to get everything okay. mixed and mastered per track. Like, yeah. I just had to do the best I can. But, for put the money up, like, let me, this one gonna be, it's, it's a lot of work. I, I mean, scared money makes no money, right? Some money, yeah. You know, um, gotta invest in stuff like that. You have that. to invest in yourself, but we were just talking about this off on, you know, off air, like quality. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And the fact that in in the two year process, you yes, you invested, but you also understand the quality you provide to others. So yeah. it's okay that it took that, you know, from two thousand eighteen to now because I I'm like is I you thought it out. Usually you have yeah. people who just put a, a project out there just to put it, and it makes no sense at times. Is I don't understand how bad I was trying to get the confessions of summer. I'm like, yo, this this is the one, because it was only supposed to be that one. It just felt so good yeah. summertime, but I had to wait. Okay. I had to wait until it was right for me to put so it do out. do you still feel like summer, um, confessions to summer is the best out of all of them? Because we expect the fall. What the like? fall. I like the fall one. like Because the fall one, I really like the... F- I like the feel, the okay. power. I don't know. What do we expect hmm. with the fall? Okay. All right. So, because, like, I bet. Okay. Like, if you look at Crystal Thoughts, right? Crystal, you, yo, you are... I'm not going to say it's not... Because I feel like all artists, all of us, when it comes to us as artists, we're mm-hmm. emotional people. You know? Yes. So... You can tell you put your your pain into your work. You right. understand? You can tell you put your all into your work, you know? Um, right. I, I'm a big believer uh, with, for me, is that my pain is my motivation. I can right. say that with you. And I've, right. like, just looking at your information, your, like, your bio, your your content and everything, and I'm just like, right. you know, so I think it would make sense that why you like fall, because I feel like fall is the transitioning from the changes of life and everything. You understand? Yeah. So, like, it's dope. Like, again, how you thought it out. You thought mm-hmm. everything out. So, out of each season right now, from what you have out now. Okay. So, it's three. You yes. have three seasons right yes. now out. What are your three top songs that you can re- uh, recommend to people and say that it was something Ooh. Vulner- you, you was vulnerable with? M- MJ Bad. Um, Cruel World in 1981, and basically I, know, I, I was I was I was born in 1981, so that's that's my heart. Like I went all the way back to where I grew up at, shot the videos, so that was that was deep. Cruel World is it's just a cruel world out here. It just yeah. is what it is, you know. So with that, it's my experience. That one was dope too because I was with my my little godson, so we okay. went to Harlem, whatever, and you know he was in my video. We had some kids playing basketball in the video, so it kind of just came together you know so yeah those those three those three for right now yeah mj bad that song just had a vibe okay and it just uh that's my song right there yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> that's my that's my song but growing up in that era like you know mm-hmm. like eight nineteen eighty one to where we're at now right so obviously to the like the era oh man yeah yeah you know like the changes within hip-hop <laughs> How long, did it? All right. So did you adapt to hip hop right away, or did it take you a while, or are you still having adapted to it's, the new changes? Oh like, gosh, it's it's so crazy because I just like some music so much that when all the new stuff happened, like I'm gonna break it down real quick. I think, of course, I love Tupac and the West Coast and mm-hmm. all that. So after that, I trans- I started liking the sets. It was G Unit, Dipset, the Locks. Like I was just liking all them. So after that, Rough Riders can't forget them. After that, it was. From two, 2010 and now, I was listening to mainly Drake, okay. Chris Brown, and Trey songs. And before that, Remy Ma, before all that happened. Like, Terror Squad, like, that's what I listen to. So, with all the new stuff that came out, it was hype. It, it was, I remember, you know, which one I really started getting on was um at the time, Lil Pump. Because he had his Gucci, Gucci, man, mm, Gucci, yeah, then the okay. skit and all that. Like, I'm like, oh, I like these little kids. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was feeling them and all that. They was doing Lil Uzi Vert or all them and stuff like that. So I kind of like the transition, the new okay. sound and all that. I was trying to keep up with all these 
young kids a coming out. Up. There's a lot to keep up with, you know. So <laughs> it's it's pretty it's pretty cool. Like now, who do I listen to now? I mean, you know. All right. So before that, I was in my little emotional Joe Budden stage. Okay. So I remember I would listen to All Love Lost, Some Love Lost. Um, it's another one like. I was just into that for a minute because I'm trying to think what was I listening to. So I remember listening to that. That's when he was on the show, Love and Hip Hop. Okay. So then after that, it was Drake, Chris Brown. But now, Pop Smoke. That's, oh, oh, Pop oh. Smoke is my, yo. And Golden it's so Beast sad what happened. Sound, you know, like, to them. That's just the way right now. Like That I, drill. That drill. I can't I love front. that sound. I like, yeah, I like that. I, 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 I'm listening. That that album in itself, the second album, I was just I thought it was so well produced and executed, for me. That the the the, the, two or yeah, the new the, the one, what is one. it the the new one the, the new the, one. This yeah, is um, oh my god, like uh, I forgot the name of it. Um, shoot for the stars. Yes, yeah. Shiver, yeah, it's just I a cover. I felt like Fifty did such a great job he putting did. like you know putting this putting that album together because yeah. it showed a different style, a different style, a type of um yeah. pop. You know what's crazy? The second one, you heard the second one, the deluxe? Yeah, yeah. It's like a song for every movie. Yeah. Like, he did party joints and all that. It's the joint with Jamie Foxx. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Like, he got some joints on it. Like, a song for every Not mood as a on fact. It. That's how you do it. And, and that, like, I mean, that's wow. what... But that's what, the, let, that's what I was just saying, like, right now. Like, for example, going back to you. Yeah. You know, people like yourself, like mm-hmm. a Pop Smoke, like, you know, who take their craft series and put out, like... They think about, you guys think about putting an actual song. It's not just, you're not here just putting words together just to put words right, together. Right, right. You know? Right. And it, I said, I'm going to keep it a buck. It doesn't make sense of the era, like, you grew up in, like, you know what it is to conduct the song. Yeah. Not, it you know? It was serious so, back then. Like, yeah. The 90s was, you know, like. The 90s was the 90s. Like, that was the best but I I always tell people I'll be like, yo, I wish like my, like 90s. you see how my older bro- like my older brother, my older sister, like they got to experience that era, and I'm mm-hmm. like, damn, I wish I lived that era, yo, because I feel like that was when that when music was like really music, yo, like it was. And I, don't get me wrong, I I I transitioned to the new the new wave right now, and mm-hmm. I. I'm going to keep it a buck. I, I, you know, I definitely, I fucks with it. You know, it's something, I I, I, I learned to adapt to it because I was yeah. a big hip-hop head. Mm-hmm. Um, now, I want to know with you, like, when did you, because, again, listening to your sound, listening to your words, you know, knowing that you mm-hmm. put your heart on your sleeve, you know, when did mm-hmm. you realize that this is your sound, this is your music, this is your truth? Like, when did you really accept your the story of you as an artist? I think honestly, as I started put it, as I started putting the story together, okay, and that was with the whole confessions project, okay, because like I really wanted to just do summer, but I was like, all right, now I got to really think about what I'm going to talk about this and that because my lifestyle's different. Gotcha. Like I'm not in the streets, I'm not going to be promoting drugs and alcohol and stuff like that. So it's like, all right, what am I really going to talk about? And gotcha. how truthful am I w- willing to be? Mm-hmm. You know, so I had to really think about that. And it's like, yeah, I want, you know, I want to do the conscious music, but really I got to tell my truth, I got to tell my story. Ab- so absolutely. That's basically, you know, where, where I'm at with it. It's, 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 it's definitely therapeutic, you know, like. Uh, yeah. You know that, what's good? That just I re- happened. You know what Go I ahead. realized? What I what I saw is that, yo, you was in a group, a female group, right? Yeah, yeah. How, okay, how was that? Like that was that was dope. So that's what really started all the music stuff. So I started, you know, writing for a long time. Then we had moved uptown to uh, Boston Seacoast. So I met um, my people. Was like we all still cool to this day. Okay, whatever. okay, okay. So we was like 16, 17 years old, you know, we outside talking, you do music, you do music. So, you know, we all did, was like, yeah, we do music, whatever. Uh, one of my people was there, um, uncle had did the beats for us. So we was doing talent shows and stuff like that on the weekends. Okay. You know, we didn't have school, whatever. So we practiced, do our shows, whatever. We did that from like 16 to 18. It was it was cool. But what happened was when you start to get older, because what was, was what was supposed to happen, we were supposed to get serious, sign the contract, but things changed. Like 18, you know, it was like, eh. 
you know, it's like, it, I guess maybe things ain't happen fast enough. So we just, you Part know, decided ways. to do our own thing. We all still hung out. It was cool. It was just okay. the music. Gotcha. Everybody just started doing their own thing. I okay. mean, I still wrote and stuff, but my biggest thing was like, all right, I need to find beats. I need to learn how to get beats or whatever, because I got all these rhymes, but what I'm going to do about beats? And that mm. eventually made me go to SAE 2012, started learning how to make beats, because the music thing was still in my heart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, even though the group thing, you know, we did, we did, and whatever, but the group thing was, it was, it was fun on weekends. Was you know, it? I, I grew, it was called um, DBF. We, we used to have fun on weekends. It's fun. Okay, okay. You know, we all be together chilling, you know, so writing what, it was like a rap practicing. group or? Female rap group. It was really? four of us. Yeah. Get out. That's yeah. dope. That's it, it, dope. It was dope at the time. It was fun. Let me ask you this, though. Like, no, like, because you went from being in a group, then obviously you guys, I mean, you guys are still friends, but you guys separated as a group. You understand? Yeah, Musically, yeah, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then you went to school for, yeah. um, you went to school for production, for oh, engineering, engineering, audio engineering. I went to school for that, by the way. Oh, you did? Which yeah, school you I went to? I went to IAR. It was between IAR and SAE for me. I wanted to but go to you know SAE. what? You know who? I went to SAE because SAE called me back. I ain't called me. So no, like, really? Yeah, I'm like, I'm going to SAE. SAE is a way better school, by the way. I'm just saying from what I'm to, yeah, a little more expensive. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a book. But they give you the starter kit. They do. Like, they give me the They even give you a Mac. laptop, right? Yeah, I got yeah, my laptop. I, I got, I got the, my inbox, like, the Pro Tools, like, Logic. They give you the, I don't know if they still do it now because this was a couple years ago, but they gave me the starter kit. And from there, I just... You just took off. I just took off. Like, yeah, I got that's, everything. That's what I'm saying. So it's like... Complete everything. So then from there, you went solo. Yeah, solo I've been, I've been with solo. So, solo artist. But, like, how was that transition? Like, from being... How was the transition from being in a group to now being a producer and an artist? You, you know what it was? It was all right because, like, within that whole 10 years, I was just... I wasn't really doing the music like that. I think I was writing here and there, so I was just, like, really working, trying to figure out life, you know, because I was in my 20s then. So I'm okay. like, you know, the music thing is whatever, and I got to live life, pay bills, stuff like that. But it was just still in my heart, like, this is what I want to do. I like music. So went to uh, 2010, 2012, I just had to do what I had to do. But 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 at that time, I wasn't thinking about being an artist. Like, that. I was just like, all right, I want to learn how to... Uh, make beats and stuff like that and work with other artists. Mm. So I didn't make the decision to be an artist myself until like recently, like 2016. Really? When I dropped the first project, the IMF. And okay. that one's called um, In My Feelings. That's just some songs I put together. So, and that was only because I wanted to learn the process. I'm like, all right, if I'm going to be working with artists, I need to learn what it's like to be an artist. Okay. You know? So what have you learned? <sighs> Marketing. I, I learned that. I learned that marketing <laughs> is a hard part. You need money for that. Um, for me, it's like let's say if I meet artists and they don't have beats, I'm have to make beats for them. Got to try to make beats that they like. Like I gotta let them have the beats and see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Let's say they, they don't have money for me to charge them. So it's it's a lot of work. It's gonna be a lot of work if I take on other artists. So, mm. but for myself right now, I still got. A lot of things I still got to do. I still got to tour. I still got to do shows and stuff like that. Okay. So right now I got the songs. But okay. now I got to really do the work. Start networking and really getting out there. So it's interesting. It is. It's, it's interesting. Well, it's fun, but... Welcome to the artistry. <laughs> yeah. It's not easy. It's not easy being an artist. I re like, let me tell you something, bro. Like, I remember when, um, when I was rapping. Like, to put mm -hmm. yourself out there... It takes a lot. And this is why, like, whenever I do events, I mm -hmm. tell people, like, you have to respect the artists that are up here. I don't care. Right. You know, like, I don't care if you don't vibe with to their music. You know, everybody has a different ear for everything, you know? True. So respect the artists because at the end of the day, it takes so much for you to be up here for just here talking to me yeah. and just expressing how you started you know expressing your you know like your story you know it's yeah. a, it's a lot and you also got to be be willing to get out of your comfort zone yeah you know what i mean cuz i'm an introvert you know what i'm saying but i'm like all right if i want to be x y z i'm going to have to really get out of my comfort zone and just do it like like to come here this is how i, I didn't get nervous i just ain't think about it Mm. I was like, I don't want to think about being there because then it, I'm going to make myself nervous. I keep thinking about it or something. I ain't think about it. 
I mean, the you know what it is? I it's the fear of the unknown. Exactly. Fear of the unknown yeah. will, will cripple a person, bro. Mm-hmm. It is it's insane how like the the good thing is that the upside to it is that you you you're overcoming it and you're you know you you're learning Absolutely. all these things that you have to because mm-hmm. you want more. I'm assuming you yes. know like yes. I mean, what's your end goal with everything? Like as far as like, do you want to like start a label or you just want to continue as an artist? I actually, I, I do have a label, it's Crystal Thoughts Records. So I do okay. have a label, I have a publishing company, Crystal Thoughts Publishing, because I'm with CD Baby, so you got to do those type of things for the, the paperwork, whatever. Um, Either a distribution deal or a publishing deal. Mm. Not sure if I'm on a record deal, because I kind of could do certain things, but yeah. it's either distribution deal or publishing deal. Publishing deal. <laughs> try to get that. <laughs> Let me stop. That's smart. smart. One of those, you know. Yeah. So I'm also I'm still trying to learn the business and stuff like that. So it's a lot to take in. I, like learning the business. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, you're taking the process, you're taking the initial steps. You mm-hmm. know, learning the business in itself. Uh, it's a lot because it's like I feel like being in this. Right. So I went to school for IAR and then mm-hmm. I went to school for business. Right. So when you learn the two, like you have to learn that. I think one of the biggest mistakes a lot of people have done. I don't know if you made that mistake. And if so, have you learned from it? Is that a lot of people don't know how to remove their emotions when make when when it comes to business. Have you been in a place like that? I don't think I've. I don't think I've been in a situation yet for that but okay. my big thing is trust okay. and like like filling people out because obviously i work with people so i go with my intuition a lot I, okay. I, I trust myself okay so when that arise that time arise if i do business with somebody i'm, I'm gonna go with my gut if my gut's like all right trust this process or trust this uh, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna do it but Business wise, not not really. Yet. Actually, I did do a business move with, with somebody because I have somebody featured on my song, and it was just straight up like it was just like logic and shit like that, right? Like no, because yeah, I like I feel it like you know, let me. That's the good thing that you you're so then you know how to remove your your emotions from making any business transaction. Just a lot of people, yeah. you know, because you and and especially in the not all of the music industry, but in the music industry is just like. There's, you know, some people, again, they don't know how to remove it, you know. that. But that's, I think that's a, a beginner's mistake when you, Possibly. you know. But um, now I'm curious because, like, listening to your story, you you, you work with people, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and like you said, you've been through, like, it's, everything has been, like, trial and error. Yes. Um, you know, I feel like there was always moments where we, as a creative, you've been in a road where it's just like, well, I would say like that dark road, you know? Um, have you ever been in a moment where you came across of where you was close to wanting to quit? Like at all? Um, and if so, how did you overcome that? You know? Probably maybe, let me see, 2015, 16, like, like when you're working with, you know, local artists, whatever, and it's like, you know, it's you feel like it's not going nowhere or whatever. But I think instead of me doing that, I was like, you know what? I'm going to just be an artist and, and learn this process. Mm. I think I just turned it around because I've been making producer, making beats since 2010. Mm-hmm. You know, working with lo- local artists, seeing where it goes, blah, blah, blah. I just kept kept going with it. Right now, I feel like this is the farthest I've been. Because okay. now I got like a whole bunch of songs I'm producing. So I'm like trying to work both lanes like do you think it's a lot it's a lot to take on to be a producer and an artist like do you think you should perfect one before tackling another or it goes hand in hand for me it goes hand in hand with okay. like what i'm trying to do okay. so it's like let's say i get a placement or i could you know have a beat for somebody or write a song for somebody okay or I could just keep doing what I could. I'm doing, or maybe I might get a um a sync deal, or okay. something like that with my songs. It's like my songs could still do something, mm-hmm. you know. Even if let's say I didn't want to perform and really be an artist, I'm gonna make my songs do something. Mm-hmm. They're not gonna just, yeah, you know, yeah. just be sitting there. So, 
Are you? Uh, depends. How are you with constructive criticism? You, are you okay with it? Like, have you had people come to you, but like, yo, you is I or whatever? Like, um, I'm pretty sure. You uh, pretty, uh, do anybody like? Does it anything? bother you? Because I, I know, like, I know, like, you know what? Because I had a uh, uh, like, I know for, I know I had an artist recently, and they released a video, and they was just like, yo, that should put me in my bag. You know, like, so, and I'm like, yo, bro, that, that's part of the culture. That's, like, you got to get used to it. I mean. But it's easy said and done. Me, personally, I like to learn. Okay. So I want the the constructive criticism. Like, I want somebody to be like, all right, that was good. That's trash, blah, 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 blah. Okay. You know what I mean? So, like, also, like, with my friend out there, like, I have certain songs I'll be doing, you know. Now, one of my songs on um, Confession Summer, I know it's, she's like, yo, that's the one, that's the one. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? So yeah. sometimes you just you just know when it's the one. Like your friends, people who listen to it, they'll tell you. Or if, sometimes they're not saying nothing. Like, they probably don't like it. They probably don't want to say nothing. But it's okay. For me, it's okay. Okay. Because you're not going to like everything. Like all the music and stuff that's out, I don't like everything. Uh, exactly. You know, there's certain things I like, certain things I don't like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm cool with it. I like it. No, that's good that you like to learn because, uh, no, like, like again, like, you know, people don't understand that sometimes this is part of the industry. You, there's a balance. Right. You got to take the good and the bad. Like, yeah. I, I just have, uh, like, I, I, I said a while ago, I just had one of my, like, uh, a negative comment. And at the beginning, I was like, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> but then it's like, it comes with the territory. You understand? It, like, yeah. not everybody's going to like you. Exactly. Everybody's not going to like it. Everybody's not going to like your music, whatever. Okay. Uh, going from the Bronx to, what, Connecticut are you? Yes. Or? Yeah. I'm in Connecticut. Waterbury. How was the transition? Um. Has that, and has I it personally, inspired you or affected you musically as well? I personally like it. Okay. You know, I'm out there, you know, live on my own. Uh, where I'm at is pretty decent. I could actually move around. So okay. I kind of, I kind of like that. What was interesting to me is that when I moved, um, and when I, for like a brief minute, I was doing my little thing selling CDs. I appreciated New York more when I left. Like mm. I was in Times Square like every weekend, but when I lived out there, you know, I wasn't out there. I was just staying where I was at. You know, I didn't appreciate New York mm. when I lived in New York. Gotcha. Now I don't live in New York. I'll be out there sightseeing, acting like a tourist all the time, <laughs> taking pictures of this and that. <laughs> yeah, you, you yeah. Want to see, I took some pictures earlier too, like. <laughs> You appreciate it more, so yeah, yeah. Um, and I like I like to be able to do the back and forth. I like it. Like I get it. New York, go back home. Yeah, I like the fast slow because New York is like fast. Yes, it is. Connecticut slow. It's I have so a whole block to myself, so that is a fact. So wait, wait, you were selling <laughs> CDs? Yeah, I was doing that for a little minute. How yeah, was that? Bit. How was that? Wait, you was the wait, wait on like on Forty Second. Get the Forty Second. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. How was that? Yo. It's, it's actually pretty cool. What I did like about it is that you meet, at the time, you meet people from all over the world. Yeah. So I got to see the music all over the world. I actually had did a song and somebody had commented. I don't know. He's from some country out there. He commented on, on a, um, a song I did with Isaiah. Like. So it feels good when you see stuff like that. So the 42nd thing is a good and bad. Like you're either out there really selling your music or, you, or you're playing around. But... I met some cool people. How long you was doing that for? Um, probably for two years. What was I doing? I think two thousand summer of summer of two thousand seventeen or eighteen. I might have been out there. I was out there a little bit last year, and this year I thought, yeah, it was on. I'm, I got all my my music. I'm ready now. But the the COVID hit, so <sighs> yeah, <you know. laughs> yeah, yeah. But, so wait, what, what what was your like your your oh I guess your God. catchphrase like how 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 you would have approached me <laughs> if I'm walking? Cause I want to know now. Cause I'm like, oh yeah. gosh, I wasn't too good at that. <laughs> 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 Being honest, um, I used to be like, uh, hey, how you doing? My name is Chris Thoughts. Blah blah blah. I'm from I'm from the Bronx. Where you from? Gotcha. Then we, from, then we start talking. I was like, uh. Well, I'm always from the Bronx. Uh, this is my music. It's on Spotify. I'm just out here trying to raise money for, you know, just gotcha. a little spill. You know, um, I'm accepting donations. You can donate whatever you want. You know, it's um, yeah, giving away too much. <laughs> 
And then you some and my, some of my CD brothers gonna see me like, look at that. I mean, yo, uh, you know what? I respect that. Like, it was, I, it's not easy. What I liked about that too, it also got me out of my comfort zone. It mm-hmm. got me talking to people. I can you know, imagine. so that was cool. And I'm not a good salesperson. Like some of them brothers out there, they they're really dope. They're really good salespeople. But I wasn't a good salesperson. But it got me on my comfort zone. Gotcha. It got me talking to people. So my I boy like used doing to do that. that. My boy used to um he used to make his own um like he used to draw his co- um album cover. Okay. And then That's he dope. would like. He used to do that, and yeah. he, you know he'll free. He's a freestyler, so okay. he used to free I, on Forty Second all that. Like, and I used to be like, "Yo, bro, like do it," you know. Like, I don't knock it. I really don't. I think that's such a dope hustle. It's just again, it's to get out of that comfort zone, you know. It gets you out the comfort zone. It was it was dope. It was it was fun. Like once things get a little better, or whatever, I probably go back out there. Or sometimes let's say. You down the dump, so you need some real, you know, yeah, real quick. Yeah, go out there. Yeah. I remember playing times I go out there with nothing in my pocket, and then I leave with a couple hundreds, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, it's it was a good way to get yourself out there and um, also learn how to deal with people, get out of your comfort zone. Nah, that's a fact. You know? Yo, we're gonna take a quick music break. We're gonna come back with Crystal Thoughts some more, and she's gonna be performing as well. So y'all already know the vibes. All right. Yo. Yeah. Born 1981, some of y'all too young to understand what took place and where I'm coming from. Mom's was alive, dad, he was acting dumb. Born and raised in the Bronx, I was growing up. My mom's birthday, I'm telling her cut the cake. Next day, she overdosed, white shit all on the face. The cops, they came and took me. I was with them all day. They was trying to figure out why I was going to stay. That quick, I blinked my eyes. My whole life changed. I grew up in Bronx River and heard a Zulu mate. But I didn't hang out much. Neighborhood wasn't safe. If grandma wasn't outside, then we couldn't go and play. Didn't understand her logic and concept behind the ways. But she was being me. And I didn't want to stay. At 16, I ran away. My best friend, I stayed. A few days later, I went back home to show I was okay. Yo. If my mom was alive, how would life be? If she was alive, would you see me? With young me versus the old me? Be who I am, the real me? If mom was alive, how would life be? If she was alive, would you see me? With the young me versus the old me? Be who I am, the real me? On my New York shit. I got issues, more than trust issues. If we more like family and foes, then I'm blood with you. My trust level zero, and that's negative zero. I don't care if you a hero or a superhero. Some of y'all be fast talking, I ain't trying to hear you. My intuition fits you like a subway hero. My AC's on point, sharp grade A. I can spot the bullshit from a mile away. I got my own bullshit, and it's a pile away. You wanna know what's up? I'm a dollar away. I got issues, it's been a long day. Niggas try and manipulate all day. Finesse in the situation, I can't be finesse. Unless she a devil in a red dress. And if she a devil in a red dress, all that shit sweet talking better make sense. I got issues, all the trust issues. I play and pretend just to fuck with you. My trust level zero, that's negative zero. I don't care if you a hero or a superhero. I got issues, all the trust issues. I play and pretend just to fuck with you. My trust level zero, that's negative zero. I don't care if you a hero or a superhero. I got issues, more than trust issues. If you more like fan than foe, then I'm blood with you. My trust level zero, that's negative zero. I don't care if you a hero or a superhero. I ain't fucked up in a long time. I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm about facing this long line. Fast forward, it's a long line. Fast forward, it's been a long time. In the middle of the night, it's the wrong time. In the right crime, I keep more time. The wrong crime, I keep more time. Right decision, we can all die. Like I'm play fair at all times. So I wash my back at all times. And I stay strapped at all times. That payback was all lines. That payback was all mines. Surrounded by criminals, so I think like a criminal. 
thinks about you, but it's really subliminal. Keep friends on the minimal. Got thoughts that's criminal. Get ready for the night. Like I'm ready for a ritual. I ain't fucked up in a long time. I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm in the wrong state, I'm in the wrong mind. Get off the wrong plate, I cut all ties. I cut all ties. Get off the wrong plate, I cut all ties. I ain't fucked up in a long time. I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm about facing this long line. Fast forward, it's a long line. Fast forward, it's been a long time. In a little whip, just like Obama. Blowing up like a summon. These niggas pussy, they don't want no drama. New trip, spit the stack on a new fit. Sip it dirty, that's the reason why I'm moving sturdy. When my doors like my Vic, did they dance like this? Here's a slight twist. They gon' try to bite this, they don't gotta like this. I'm popping like Chris. New trip, elevated up them blue slits. Gang, they can't fuck with me, so fall back with the fuckery. Now they try to get in touch with me. Gang shit, I'm the type to really hang shit. Same shit, I'm taking over till they vanquish. New trip, change freezing cause the ice. Now they wanna be polite. Bust it up for the night. I'm the motherfucking goat, they don't wanna smoke. She gon' suck it till she choke. Yeah, I never been a joke, cause I bought my cash. I just tryna get it fast. Always coming in first, why the year last? I be fucking up this cash. Never had to touch the stash, cause I'm more goat. Shit, me, all my niggas love loyalty. Fuck the fame, I want the royalties. Why they cabin for the clout? Wait, racked up, like I never seen a drought. Uh huh. Four cars, when I'm speeding down the road Gang, backing up Like I'm shopping for the groceries Never change like Hover Big body Range Rover Yeah, it's really game over About to take over Nigga, I'm the main soldier Yeah, I'm coming for your neck I just wanna check I don't care about respect Cause I know I'ma get it Cooking like a chef New trick Spent a couple of them blue slips Just to give me some new shit Blowing up like a sauna In a little whip Just like Obama Blowing up like a sauna These niggas pussy They don't want no drama New trick Spent a stack on a new fit Sip it dirty, this the reason why I'm moving sturdy. When my dogs like my Vic, did they dance like this? Here's a slight twist, they gon' try to bite this. They don't gotta like this, I'm poppin' like Chris. New trick, elevated on them blue slits. Gang, they can't fuck with me, so fall back with the fuckery. Now they try to get in touch with me. Six feet, six feet, six feet. What's going on, man? How you living? Good, bro. I'm just living good, you know what I'm saying? This crazy shit going on. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, bro. Ridiculous, bro. Then we got the pool on now. Right. It's crazy, though. What's going on no more? Right. You don't even got space to breathe. It's unreal. Right. Right. You know how we get busy in New York, man. It's about to get crazy. Come on, man. It's going to be a crazy summer, man. Talk talking about summer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's talk about it. It's gonna be a cold summer, so let's talk about it. See, in the streets, there's a cold when we don't talk about it. Now everybody catch a cold and we can talk about it. You see, it started with a fever. Bodies getting hot. Gotta get a mask. Cruising through the block. Isolate myself, cause I'ma die alone. She don't wanna see me, but she blowing up my phone. It's a damn shame. Nine months and the plans change. I'm laying down in this damn pain. I start to wonder how I'ma keep from going under. Cause one day the sun shines and it's pouring thunder. See, this is a true story. Ain't no lies, this is true story. I'm going live like I knew Tory. See, there's a virus going around and it starts with an F. Uh -huh. Fake friends in the fear that you better than them. See, they couldn't put me on, so I had to take the long route. Shorty called me daddy even when she stick her tongue out. Man, I'm about to bug out. Bodies, run out, send me, dug out. You ain't cut out. Cut out. Cause I'm just praying for the better day. Praying for the better days. And I'm just trying to find a better way. Yes. 
Until the game is over Okay, okay The game is over Okay Ooh, yeah I'm just praying for a better day yeah. Praying for the better days I just hope somebody save me Sorry if I told these other b- I'm a lady You know I be in my bag Been through this before You don't even gotta ask uh, Since I was a young and I was getting to the bag These niggas, my sons, they know I invented a swag You can catch me stunting in my Air Force Ones But I think I need another pair of Air Force Ones Cause I gotta keep it simple Haters keep it pushing Shout out to my Fire beats, good looking. You know when the lockdown's over, I'll be cruising in the Range Rover, getting brain when the game's over. Real city man, you know we gon' take over. Black summer, it's gon' be a hot summer. I'm feeling like a rock star, saying peace to my peers, baby. You don't gotta fear, nah. Cause I'm just praying for the better days, praying for the better days, and I'm just trying to find a better way. Yes, until the Reporting live from the underground. I want it all for my body goes underground. The transition to a have from I have not. Did I sleep on my grind? No, I have not. Uh, I'm feeling like I'm one hit away. Cause anytime there is a will, then there is a way. And so before there is a will, just an intuition. Get a mill and put it into wish and see. And make sure that my little men are better off. Life ain't always made weather, but I never lost. Cause if I ever lost, another lesson learned. I can sell a lot for my soul, they will never earn. Nah, I got goals in my headlights. The game is full of potholes, so I tread light. And ever since a snot knows I was dead nice. Before the green Charlemagne, I run the red lights. When you look into my two eyes, see the journey behind them. Pressure bus pipes, but it turned me to a diamond. God ordering my steps, so I gotta keep grinding. I'm in aiming at my dreams from the gate. From the gate. Fuck being good, I'm trying to be a great. Be a great. From the womb to the tomb, world better make room. Cause I'm here now to make my own space. Walk with me. I used to care about the bright lights Now we're stacking my money up to the right height And nothing in my eyesight but the zeitgeist So to leave a name I treat the game like it's fight night Yeah, and I write for my two seeds For them to win I shoot for more than the two seed Cause who dreams for less? I'm on the scene possessed Until I give my whole team the best Yes, uh, I'm nothing more than a real nigga It's understood I don't say keep it real nigga And living through the cold nights made me ill nigga Till I get a shot to hit the top I can't chill nigga uh, I will figure out the best move, a chess move, kin to a a chess move. So let's move, no minute to waste and fuck fame, Charlemagne, now you're minute for greatness. When you look into my two eyes, see the journey behind them. Pressure bust pipes, but it turned me to a diamond. God ordering my steps, so I gotta keep grinding. I'm in aiming at my dreams from the gate, from the gate. Fuck being good, I'm trying to be a great, be a great. From the womb to the tomb, world better make room, cause I'm here now to make my own space. Walk with me.
building. It's yeah. V Henny. And we got Crystal Thoughts. Yeah. What's going on? You already know, man. Now, um, going back to like you mentioning, like, you know, hitting, um, sending the CDs and everything, COVID. How has yeah. the pandemic affected you as an artist? Me personally, only thing, maybe the, the CD thing, but um, I've still been working, doing my, my music okay. stuff. And it was crazy because when COVID hit in March, I had to uh, put out my spring album. So I, I kind of felt like, that, like this is going on. Like Some people are in like tough situations right now. And I'm still working my job. Mm-hmm. Still got projects I had to put out because I had to finish putting out the series. I just yeah. had to still do what I had to do, drop two albums. So you know. When do you... Dropped the um, spring. Um, April twentieth. April. I believe and summer April. was when. Summer was July. July twentieth. Wow. Yeah, just dropped the July twentieth. What about fall? When you have a date for that? October. <laughs> That's what I can leave it as October. Yeah, definitely dropping October because everything's already ready. Just. How many October. tracks are we looking at? Just four. Just four, like you said. Is it, yeah, is that the other ones are? Uh, uh, like nine. Nine. Okay. Yeah, other than like nine. So the nine. other one will fall is gonna be like an EP. Yeah. Okay. So I'm short. Okay. Because it's the fourth one. It's four. I just put four. You know, I, I think her like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm like, let me yeah. just put four as the fourth one. And I'm just. No, that's, I like mean, that. October. That's that's fine. I mean, just are four you, tracks. I know you have some visuals, but like, mm-hmm. are you working on visuals for the fall as well? I like, want to. Okay. I want to, yeah. So I already hit up my um guy who does my videos and just let him know, like, you know, I want to do a video soon, so. Do you know what's gonna be your next single? Um. Yeah. What's your next single? Is from now or from that album? From that album. From the one coming up. Yeah. Ooh. I say lost. Lost. That's my song Why right lost? there. Because that right there is just breaking me down. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just like where 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 I was at. Like they was basically saying there was a point in my time where I was lost. You know, so I'm just breaking it down. Damn. That that song is How long did it take you to write that? Probably like an hour or two or something. Okay. Cause I was I felt I already had the beat. Okay. So I already felt it. So when I was writing, I was just writing. So it didn't take me long. Have you ever had a song that you was just writing and it put you in a place where you're just like you're close to crying or something like that? Hmm. Put you in I, your bag. Actually, I, th- I think it's it's, it's it's some of these songs on 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 four four. It's some deep tracks on it. I like the beats are just so good, so powerful. Like this, yeah. Confessions of four four. Yeah, I see that. Why 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 conscious? Why conscious? Like why like like I I just feel like I I mean don't get me wrong. I love conscious. Mm-hmm. But. Why? Like, what? What? What makes you want to go that route? I think because I'm a, I'm an emotional person. Okay. I, I really am. I, I be deep in my feelings, That's whatever. Dope. I'm an emotional person, and I feel like it helps me relate more to okay. other people. Like, like, I think part of why I like Drake was because he's emotional. You know, gets yeah, you in your feelings, whatever. With a lot of his songs, and I, I listened to him for a long time, a lot of years. I was telling people like, yo, so, Marvin's room was my shit, kid. Like that would put me in my bag. Like, I like the the other one. What's, what's the name of it? Where um, he was at like the top of the views. Oh, uh, views, yeah. I like views. Yeah, views was deep. This and is why, a, you know why I like the the new wave to mm-hmm. like the music is because. I like that that emo wave. You understand? Like yeah. because I like you, I am an emotional person as well. Yeah. So like to be able to like express yourself on yeah. music and I feel like as an artist, this is what you supposed to do. Artist, producer, whatever. Like you should be able to express yourself and not right. be judged. Right. But you know, and, and that's in a perfect world. And it depends on how. Like, you know who started growing me? Um, Lil Baby. Because at first, you know. But then he, he came out with that song. I think it's called Emotional Something. Tell us how many Lil Baby. Um, so, uh, learn how to get paid. Like, I was like, I heard that song and I felt it. Okay. And I'm like, I, I, I like it. I felt it. Also, um, what's his name? Juice World. Oh, Juice World, yes. Wishing Well. I, I heard that song for me. 
that song did not. Like, like I like I like this voice of certain songs, but like I heard that, I'm like, he's basically that song was made me cry because I just felt what he was saying, what he was going through at the moment, and mm. you know I deal with guys that deal with that, so I like the most of that. and and that's why for a long time also like I like Joe Buttons like all love lost, some love lost, no love lost, like. I felt what he was going through okay. on those tracks. Like I love the, I love those albums. Like you don't talk about it, but working I with, it. um, you know, with like substance abuse, you know. Mm-hmm. Have you had anybody who came to you and be like, "Yo, you've helped me through like these hard times"? When um, I had a couple clients call me afterwards, yeah. Okay. They'll call me, ask me something, and be like, thank you, thank you for every, everything you did, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, so after the fact, you know, How did you they take do. that? Uh, you know, like, I feel like that's just, that's a feel-good moment. It makes you feel good, and, like, with the job I do, it it, it can be very rewarding, you know, mm-hmm. because you're you're dealing with real people, you're dealing with real situations. Like, stuff is real. It's not a joke. So, and it's... When I listen to the music, but actually working in the field, it's two different things. Like, like yeah, I have no idea what people are really going through. Yeah. Speaking of growth, I love asking this question, right? Uh, when was the last time you did something for the first time? Um, the last time I did something for the first time? I mean, music-wise, anything. Anything right now. Um, I'd say a couple months ago, probably two, three months ago. Just I'll be honest, asked for a feature. <laughs> like, really? Yeah, first time, you know what I'm saying? Asked so, for, they asked you for a feature? No, I asked the person. How was that? It was kind of building, whatever, and I asked them, and it worked out. It went pretty smooth, and it happened. Are you charging now, like for features or like? Well, actually, actually um, uh, yeah. Okay. Let me ask you this, because this is the question. This is like the million dollar question for artists or producers. How do you know when is the time for you to start charging for your work? I think once your quality gets better and once you really feel your growth okay and you're like, all right, I'm getting there and people are like, yeah, I like that. That's going good. And da, da, da. And also, probably when people start asking to work with you, you okay. know, if they want, like, you know, how much you try to blah, blah, blah. I think that's that's a good point, too, is when they start asking you and stuff. Yeah. But, no. but I think in my case, it's the other way around. I was asking somebody else if they could do a feature for me. You know what I'm saying? No, no, so, no, no, that. But, I mean, like, yeah. at the end of the day, like, you know, it's still, it's still a, 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 it's still a million dollar question because yeah. I feel like sometimes an artist, they, they're skeptic on Given a idea. price, you understand? Like, no, I'll give a price because, okay. be honest, ain't nothing for free. Like, ain't nothing for free. That's a fact. It's, it's it's just it's just not. Um, but work with somebody. Yeah, I could work with somebody. So let's say I stay the price, and they're like, uh, I, I work with them. Okay. You know, I could work okay. with them. So how was that though? You stepping out of your comfort zone, ask, asking someone for like, for a feature. Oh my gosh! Like that was million dollar situation for me because like i don't really know this person or anything it's like i just like their music and everything um and i like this voice and i was just like hey by the way do you do features and you know so i sent them some tracks and i was like you know let me know if you like any whatever and he's like yeah i like such and such i'm like all right but as the song is telling anyway it's it's a dope song so it was it was pretty dope that's just oh that's just oh so it kind of flowed naturally it went all right Smooth. I mean, that's a good thing. Yeah. You know, you're going the right, the, the right direction when people can fuck with it and be like, yeah. Because I, yo, I've heard, I've heard people be like, nah, I'm not giving a feature. Like, and and it happens, and that's if maybe the per they don't like your music, they don't like, they may not like it or can't vibe with it. You know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. If you would have said no, it would have been okay too. You know, you don't like it. You know, but when you get a yes, it's like. Which one would you consider yourself more passionate with, being an artist or producer? Producer. Producer? Producer, because okay. I love making beats. Like, I love putting sounds together and arranging it and just taking it from nothing to something. Shout out to you. You just mentioned the whole um, 
J, a J Hatch situation. How you're gonna be working and doing that? I don't know if that's something you want to put out there. Um, well, I'm gonna just say this. Like, I I try to stay very connected with the whole I Standard movement and stuff mm-hmm. that's going on. I mean, I wish I did it years ago, back in 2012 when he started. But you know, I I do I do it when I can. So I, I try my best to stay close with a lot of his events and stuff for producers, and he's pretty dope. So nah, he definitely is. You know, I'm still. You know, networking, connected with him. So I'm going to be around him next two days. He got something going on. So, okay. yeah, I, I, if you're a producer, link up with I Stand It. Like, they're good people. No, they definitely are. Definitely. Are. I, I went to networking. one of their shows, like, yeah. I'm going to say maybe, like, four years ago or so. Three or yeah, four years probably. ago. And, yo, I, I fell in love with it. I was just like, this is so dope. Speaking, I do showcases, hip hop showcases with artists. Yeah. So there's such a different vibe when yeah. you're just surrounded by producers. A whole room. Like when I'm there, I'm like, oh, wow, all well, these are producers. And it's, and it's even better when you see a couple females there too. You know, you get a couple females be producing also. But it, it yeah, the whole I stand in the thing is dope. And he used to do something called beat camps. Okay. So I've been to one when he did. B Camp New York, B Camp LA. I was out there for that. Really? I go all the way out there. Yeah, I stand it has some dope stuff going on. So where have you traveled in reference to your music? Like um, your productions and stuff like that? Like I did B Camp. I did um the convention, ASCAP convention. Okay. I had wanted to do the Southwest by Southwest this year, but but those are the only ones I did so far. I've been to LA twice before okay. music related situation. You've, how you feel so, about LA, like their music scene? I love. I mean, I grew up listening to the yeah, West yeah. Coast first. Like, okay. I love Tupac, so like, okay, okay. I love the West Coast. And it's crazy because when I sponsor like my um my videos and my songs and stuff, like okay. my main audience is the West Coast. California. Nah, it's crazy. I California than Texas. I can see it. I can see that. I so I'm like, that. wow. I, not, I, I love, I love, I love LA. I like it out Texas there. Texas scene, their scene is dope out there as well. Those are my top two. Yeah. It's like California, Texas. I'm like, wow. Yeah. Nah, it's definitely, I think that, I think, I mean, you never know. What if, would you plan on moving out there? In the future, yep. Yeah? Yep. I'll, I'll, and it's so funny because like with California, I don't know much about LA. I go right to Hollywood. You okay. know what I mean? I've been okay. there, go right to Hollywood. Maybe take an Uber over to Beverly Hills real quick. Yeah. And the thing, what I like about Hollywood is not that ex- it's not that expensive and all that. It depends on what you're doing. Like, okay. I don't spend a lot. They got a, they got a Popeyes out there. Like, no, they do. They do regular out there. I, I feel like they exp- I feel like they're expensive. I, but I went to LA. I never really chilled in LA. I just skip over and go straight to Hollywood. Okay, yes. I went out there for um, like two years ago during yeah. the Grammys. Um, I did a show out there. Mm-hmm. And really? Yeah, this uh, this uh, two day event out there. So oh, um, okay, and it was super dope. I, I fell in love with LA. LA was dope. I love LA. Yeah, their food was fucking. I yo, I was like, what the hell? But I feel like it was expensive compared to New York. At the time, like, I used to smoke cigarettes, right? So I went, I think, two years ago. So in Connecticut, Pack of Newport was like $9. CVS, it was $7. Like, $6, 7 I'm like, it's cheap out here. Really? Like, certain... That's not bad. The, the liquor store out there in CVS. Have you ever been to the, the CVS out there? They have, like, alcohol in there? I didn't know that. This one what on... I remember was that when I went out there, they were charging me at the time. They were charging me 10 cents for a bag. And I was like... You oh, they're doing that in they Connecticut. They do that now, yeah, out here, but at the time. They do that in <laughs> no, they do that in Connecticut. Oh, like, they do that in Connecticut? Y- yeah. Nah, that, they, they, they was doing it out here in New York. I'm like, why? Yeah, they've been doing that in Connecticut. No, nah, I didn't know that. So when mm-hmm. I went there, I was like, let me get a bag. And he was like, 10 cents. 10 cent. And I was like, 10 cents? Mm-hmm. He was like, yeah, 10 cents. I was like, 10 cents? I was like, for a bag? I said, yeah. they were charging New York for it. He's like, we're not in New York. And I was like, right. Because Connecticut charged ten cents. <laughs> now after COVID, they fell back a little bit, but you get a couple stores back on a ball, <laughs> like ten cents. Nah, I feel you. Like whatever. How have you put yourself in the scene in Connecticut? Because Connecticut is not that bad. Not yet. It's a lot of trap music out there, though. I feel like it. I may be wrong because you're more out there than I am. But from what I've experienced. 
You know, you know what's crazy too is like I, uh, I don't really go out. I don't really go out much. Like I try to do more of the music events and stuff like that. Like, every now and then, my friends want to go somewhere. I, I go somewhere. But okay. Actually, there was a spot out there. They but they was playing a lot of New York music, which was. I was about I don't know shocked about this. So, okay. Eh, eh. Yeah, I got to work on that. I mean, I definitely work on your, you know, since you're in Connecticut. I'm talking about, like, the music scene. I, I don't know how the, like, I body scene out there for the music scene. Um, I need to get in the music scene, then. Like, I, yeah, now nah, it's, you know, especially that you're a producer, like, because mm-hmm. I feel like that's one thing, like, it's hard to find a good producer, you know, and... You're out there really putting in your yo. You putting in the work, and when I say you're putting in the work, it's not that you're just producing the tracks and that's it. But you're actually taking the time to actually inform yourself and learn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Learn what's the new wave. Learn other producers. You know, yeah. build and and things like that. And um, I think the reason why I feel like that's so dope is because. You usually find people, individuals, where they just feel like they, I, I know how to do it, and that's it. And I, I'm, so and much I'm to learn in life. Other people, but I'm like, bro, like, it, like, it's good to go to these, um, like these, like, what is it like? These segments, the uh, mm-hmm. are like the like. Like you going to I like well, dealing with I standards, or you going yeah. to like you know it's just good to just put yourself out there and understand that yes you're good but you can be better. You got to network. You got to learn. Yo, and that's the thing. You have to yeah. network and be, you have to put yourself in this community, mm-hmm. which is you produ- production yeah. and with artists because you're yeah. as much as you're passionate with production, you are about being a producer. Should I say? Mm-hmm. You are an artist as well. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But you're going the route. The, the, you're going the, the... I feel like you're doing the right thing. I think you're moving right. You're moving smart. You're networking, you know? Mm-hmm. For being a person, like like you said, like you, you're... It's, uh, it's you stepping out of your comfort zone. You have it's to. It's not easy, bro. It's, 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 it's not. It's especially that you get older and stuff like that. So yeah. it's like... Uh, but... You just gotta keep going. Gotta get out to come certain. Just be confident. Just keep pushing. Nah, that's you dope. Know? I mean, I just, I just want to say congratulations on, on just overcoming a lot of the you know your, the trials. Yeah. You know, um, for inspiring, for just mm-hmm. to, for even taking a taking it taking it upon yourself to, you know, like just. Do better, cause. And I say that because it's like, like you say, like, yo, I want to put up my story. I, I, I've i talked about this whole substance abuse, you know, mm-hmm. and you want you you want to educate others on how to improve and not just go the, the wrong route. You know, you've been there, done that. You understand? Right, yeah. So I, I, yeah. I applaud yeah. that. Dope. You know, um, mm-hmm. I, I just I love the positivity of it. Mm-hmm. You know, so continue striving, bro. Like honestly, con- continue. Uh, I Don't am let just... life get the best of you, kid. Because it's I feel like there's always gonna be something. Of course, there's always gonna be something. It, it is you just gotta you just gotta stay positive and just really keep pushing. Yeah. You 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 have to be confident. Just really really just stay consistent and keep pushing mm-hmm. because. Mm-hmm. For me, sometimes it is the age thing, but it's like, you no, know, I just gotta keep pushing. It is, I get there when I get there. You yeah. Know? Well, somebody t- said to me recently, um, matter of fact, on last weekend, they was just like, yo, um, like, they were like, yo, V, I'm taking the steps. Whether it's a slow steps or not, I'm still taking the, I'm still making those steps, you know? Mm-hmm. So I was like, better late than never, you know? Like, <sighs> So you, you gotta do it. We, sometimes you have people who don't live; they don't live their true selves, uh, live out their true story. You know, right. they, sometimes you can be a certain age, and sometimes people think they have it all, and that should be all a lie. <laughs> that's know? that's true too. That's that's definitely true. You know, yeah, like, I, like, I like, like to, I like to learn. That's just me, and that's good. I like to learn, so that's I want to learn to know everything. Like, I'm looking know? forward to this whole fall. Um, you know, confession of, uh, Confessions to, to of fall. Fall. 
Yeah, Yo, I'm, I'm so looking forward to that. You know, um, I'm looking forward to just listening to your, 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 expecting your your visuals. You already mm-hmm. know once you get those visuals, you it's on the shit. You understand? Yep. Yep. Like, you yeah. know, um, what else you have going on as far as like for those that are watching and they don't know, you know, like anything else, um, or where can they find your, your music, all that information. Um, as far as well, I'm with CD Baby, so I'm on iTunes, Apple Music, Tidal, YouTube Music. Uh, Instagram is Crystal, so C H R I S T Y A L underscore thoughts. And I'm on Twitter, typing Crystal Thoughts, Facebook, Crystal Thoughts. Um, I'm mean, just pretty much everywhere thinking about it. Yeah. It's on Spotify. It's, it's everywhere. Or Amazon Music. It's on everything. Crystal there's, Thoughts. Crystal, there's no possible way you can't find this woman yo like honestly I, you're gonna have you're gonna find her all her information in the description below she's gonna perform as well i'm looking forward to that make some yep. motherfucking noise put that emojis on and everything man crystal yeah um it's a pleasure meeting you having you here um it's dope meeting you also nah, I, I, I truly i truly am grateful for the support you know no uh, doubt. And I look forward to building more with you. Of course, definitely. You already know the vibe, man. Um, yo, definitely. We got Crystal Thoughts. She about to perform. Y'all know the vibes. Yo. Let's get it. Let's get it. You dig? She fucked up and she broke around me I'm fucked up but that's how I let her be I do it for her more than I do for me Her head done and her nails on flee My jacket on, I'm out on these streets She's calling me, I'm acting like I'm asleep In the middle of the night, I can't sleep so much, so much in my mind, mind. damn I can't, I can't think She breaking up with me, then this can't be But it is what it is Time to hit on my bed Time to get on my ball Cause you know I got pull She don't like when I pull So I started to push Everything cush Let's focus on us You asked what happened to me It was all about the rush And I don't like the rush I slowed down for us I took my time Why you tryna waste my time? She fucked up and she bad around me She's so bad Be a good girl, be bad around me She's so bad Them good girls go bad around me She's so bad Them good girls so bad around me So bad She fucked up and she bad around me Good girl, be bad around me. Be so bad. Them good girls go bad around me. Them hood girls so bad around me. She fucked up, but she.